Hey friends, Leighton Hart from Market Street Media, and today we're going to talk about the four main ways that new listeners find your podcast. But before we do that, make sure you click that little beautiful red subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so that you'll get a nice little reminder every time we drop a new coaching video like this. One of the most important parts of growing your podcast audience is discovering how people are finding your podcast in the first place. We've done some research and we've found the four top ways that people find new podcasts to listen to. Number one is just searching the internet. So a recent update to Google's algorithm is putting podcasts in the spotlight. So what Google is now doing is they are digging into specific podcast episodes and then recommending those in search results. So here's what that means. If you enter like yoga for migraine relief, they will put into the search results individual episodes of podcasts that deal with that topic. Here's the takeaway for you as a podcast creator of what you can do with that. You need to be as specific as possible and give Google as much detail as possible about what's going in that episode you're creating. So use a title that will be descriptive. Use good show notes and then inside your, your episode itself, make sure the content all ties back to the topic that you want to deal with. The second main way people are finding new podcasts to listen to is through social media. In fact, two thirds of people find new podcasts to listen to through social media. Now, maybe you didn't get into podcasting to become a social media pro. You just, you're passionate about podcasting. Well, if you're serious about bringing in new listeners and growing your audience, you need to spend a little bit of time on one or two platforms where you know that your ideal listeners are hanging out and you just need to get to know some people and make yourself present there. The third main way people discover new podcasts is through recommendations from their friends and family. At Market Street Media, we coach our show hosts to ask their listeners in every episode to share that episode with one new person during the week exponential growth starts happening if you can get the majority of your listeners out there recommending your show to other people. And then the fourth main way that people discover new podcasts to listen to is through recommendations from other show hosts. Think about Amazon. So Amazon sells a lot of products because they have a little box at the bottom of their screen that says, people who bought this, the thing that you're buying now, they also bought this recommendations create action. Now you'd think that, that the takeaway that we're going to give you would be to go find other show hosts to promote your show. And that's one way to do it. But we're going to encourage you to flip it around. We're going to remind you that if you want to get, you first have to give. Do for other shows what you would have them do for you. In each of your episodes, give a quick shout out to another show or another creator you like. Now, you may not be able to draw a straight line between doing this and bringing in new listeners, but what you're going to do is you're going to build a huge amount of goodwill in your community. Now you know the four main ways that people discover new podcasts. And without spending a ton of time or a ton of money, you can create a discovery machine that brings new ears to your show every week. At Market Street Media, we're pumping out tons of resources to make starting a podcast and growing a podcast insanely easy. So while you're here, explore the rest of the channel and see the other videos we have and check out our blog at marketstreet.media slash blog. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time.